It's as simple as a stuffed plastic bag and some papier-mâché. For an easy sculpt, keep watching, and you'll be able to start your snowman. Yeah, you can make your very own snowman with its very own personality. This is Rosani. Welcome. Please visit my playlists to see how I create facial expressions. Are you ready? Let's get this little guy started with the following supplies. A plastic bag, or you could substitute a paper bag if you like, paper scraps, or newspaper, masking tape, paper napkins, and liquid starch. Pour your liquid starch into a container. Gather your scraps and a plastic bag. You can make this body much bigger than what I'm showing here. This is just an example. Start by stuffing your bag. It's that easy. I'm using the plastic bag because it's going to keep it very light. If you want to substitute tin foil, you can, but this keeps it really nice and light. Twist and close the opening with a piece of masking tape. Once you've done that, you can begin wrapping it with paper napkins. Use as many as you think you'll need. Cover this completely. And this is going to be shaped into a round or oblong shape. You can make it fatter if you like. It's totally up to you. Repeat the process as needed. Dampening with liquid starch and pressing it down. You can do several layers. Now set it aside to dry. Now to make the head, we will do this on a smaller scale, wrapping the pieces of paper napkin around until we get the size that we want. Now it's starting to take shape. And of course, once this is done, we're going to set it aside to dry. You can clip off the excess plastic, but leave enough there to create a hat or a headpiece. Try adding papier-mâché, pulp, or use strips to create your features from here on. You could keep his face simple or add a lot of sculptural details. Dampen the face with liquid starch and press into it with the skewer. The damper, the better, and you can add little marks for your mouth and for your eyes. Use whatever you want. Um, here I used a little bit of orange tissue paper for the carrot nose. It, it could be a stick. The same thing for the rest of the body. You can use sticks for arms, or you can sculpt some arms out of paper napkins and put them on the side. It's whatever you want. I find it very easy to use inexpensive paper napkins. The cheaper, the better, and they absorb the liquid. That's the important thing, is that they absorb the liquid starch. Mainly, you will be building on top of it by using papier-mâché pulp or these napkins. Have fun creating your own accessories, like a hat, a vest, and this sign or a lollipop. It's totally up to you. And now, I would like you to make your own starter snowman and use your imagination to create something totally unique. I hope these basic steps will help you get started with your very own snowman using the techniques from my playlists. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to one and all.